promised. Our Jack Curry joins us now. And Jack, this date in history will be remembered forever. 19 years ago, everything changed. Today, we honor those lost and their families and reflect on the role baseball played in standing up strong in its return 10 days later. That night at Shea, Braves, Mets, no dry eyes in the house. So well said, Nancy. Today is a sad and sobering anniversary. As I watched and listened to the names of the deceased being memorialized today, it was a chilling reminder of how much we lost on 9-11. With every name that was read, whether it was someone I knew, like Mike Armstrong, or someone I wish I had known, like Victor Saracini or Patrick McGuire, I thought about the dozens and even hundreds of people who loved them and missed them. Nancy, we all know where we were on that agonizing day. I was at Newark Airport heading to Houston to try and interview Barry Bonds. After the first plane hit the World Trade Center, there was an eerie feeling at the airport. After the second plane crashed, there was an announcement telling us to evacuate. There was panic, there was confusion, but that was absolutely nothing compared to the devastation several miles away in New York City. Those early days, we all remember them. They were gut-wrenching for so many. Amidst a lot of praying and hoping, I remember wondering if baseball could eventually provide a modest distraction for many traumatized people. After then, Commissioner Bud Seeley declared that baseball was returning 10 days after terrorist attacks, that Met game that you referenced at Shea Stadium, I interviewed him. Since I was based in New York, Seelig said to me, do you think we're coming back too soon? I said, no, I think people need this. In times of utter distress, I do think sports can be a diversion, even if it's only for three hours. At the 9-11 Memorial Museum, which I recommend highly people go and visit, there's a quotation from the poet Virgil. It says, no day shall erase you from the memory of time. I think those words are beautiful and so appropriate. Thousands of lives were lost on that awful day, but the impact those people had and will continue to have has not been erased. They will never be forgotten. Beautiful tribute, of course, as always, from you, Jack. Thanks so much. And this day, of course, remembered throughout baseball today.